This one we're dealing with a real life scenario in which we're working with sequences. Uh, we have a we've obtained employment as a laboratory assistant. Our starting salary is forty one thousand five hundred, and every year we're going to get we are going to get a raise of seventeen hundred dollars. So we want to know how much we're going to start making uh, at the start of the fifteenth year. So the first thing we need to determine with this one is if it's an arithmetic or a geometric sequence. Remember that geometric sequences mean that we have some value that we're starting with, and we're multiplying that value by some number. Okay, Whether it be a positive or negative number, we're multiplying it every time. And arithmetic is that we're adding it or subtracting it is fine if you want to think of it that way, um, but adding a certain number to it every time. And this one says you receive a raise in the amount of 1,700, so it's a fixed amount. We're going to get the same amount every time, so that would be an arithmetic sequence. Now that we know that, we can bring in our formula for arithmetic sequences. And this is just kind of a generic formula for arithmetic sequences. And we start plugging in some information that we know. We know what the starting amount, A of 1, this is our first year, we're going to make 41,500. We also know what the difference amount is going to be. It's a common difference. It's going to be $1,700. We're going to make $1,700 more every single year that we work there. So now I kind of plug both of those in. Okay, This is my A of 1, my, first, my starting amount, 41,500. 1,700 is how much I go up every single year. Now this one asks how much we will earn at the start of our 15th year. So now what I'm going to do is plug in 15 for n. So right here and right here I'm going to plug in 15. So I've done that here. Now to find out how much I'm going to make for the 15th year, all I need to do is simplify what's on the right hand side. So I go 15 minus 1 is 14. 14 times 1700 is 23,800. I add that to my initial amount of 41,500 and that gives me 65,300. Now, uh, you can put a dollar sign on there, commas, all those will be fine. When you're typing it into the online system, just write it at 65,300, it'll be just fine. The computer has a hard time when you try to put labels in it, so just leave it at 65,300 is fine. Or 65,300, I should say.